Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain a series of videos on SaaS clinical programming interview question and answers. Let's get started. And now I'll move on. How you log into SaaS? This is another question of my eighth question. How you log into SaaS? As I said earlier, so if you are working on a client environment, so then you will connect to your client environment by using a link. So link in the sense that is a URL. Once you click on it URL, then they'll, they'll ask you like uh, your username and password and all. So once you log in into username and password, then the Citrix will open. So Citrix is another, um, what I can say, um, uh, Citrix is uh, nothing but uh, uh, it is also one type of server. So like your Gmail, you just come in, consider it's like your Gmail. Once you click on that particular login username and password, you click on enter so that you will connect to the server. There will be icons to you um, how you need to log in into it. So you click on that particular icon so that the SaaS will launch. Suppose you are working on a Unix environment. So most of the times what you have to do is you need to write uh, some commands on Unix environment. You open a command prompt, let's say um, uh, you working with a, a Unix environment. So you will open a command prompt that we also call it as a terminal. You open the terminal, there you will type it ampersand SAS and click enter so that that is how you log into SAS. Let me just uh, talk about it. Suppose imagine, so here I'm just uh, uh, opening the command prompt. So this is my, just imagine if you are working on Unix, uh, so this is the command prompt. Uh, so you need to enter to launch the SAS, ampersand SAS, you try to enter it and click on it, yes, so that the SAS will be got launched. But most of the cases, there will be icons, you click on it icons, then automatically SAS will open. Or else in Unix environment, something like you can just give a keyword like ampersand SAS and click enter, so that SAS software will open. Once you open the SaaS software, you are working in a Windows environment, you are working in a Unix environment, you will not see any difference. Everything is same. You will not see any differences on your programming part, uh, uh, programming part uh, like your data set, uh, how you are creating in your Unix and as well as Windows, it's the same. Okay, the only thing is the paths are a bit different from the Unix to a uh, Windows and all, but rest all those things, the programming activity, everything what you are doing is same. Again, if you want to close the SAS, either you can just use an option in your SAS itself, say buy in your SAS, it will be get closed if it is a Unix environment or else you can just click on that particular uh, closing symbol and you click on that, even that also will be get closed. So this is how you log in into SAS and then how you can proceed further, you can get it.